Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And here we are, another episode of my adventures with the model railway. Um, so as you can see I have the back board in place and I've just placed the buildings there just to give me a rough idea of how I want this to look. Um, as you can see it's not very wide but it's wide enough to cover um, what's beyond which is the the banister um, as it were so let's have a closer look I have made up the backboard with a small piece of 30 by 30 mil square timber with a piece of um, 3 mil hardboard um, which, which is quite light um, in itself and it's just screwed to the edge of the baseboard here. Um, I've only put a couple of screws in there for the moment um, just to um, just to support it while I work out what I'm going to do <laughs> regards placing these buildings in place. Um, I've come up with this idea um, I could move the cinema further up and then place another small building here. Um, yeah, would that would work? Uh, I think I might do that, or I could open it up to about there, and putting another road here so it looks like it's going away from the station. So that could be an idea yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to. Um, draw around these buildings just mark them and then we can paint this board yeah, in a blue sky effect um, and then we'll, we'll see what happens so every pub we normally find around a corner or sandwich between two big buildings but uh, what I want to do here is create um, a pub on a corner so if I come round here, you can see why I want to do this. It's because the road here goes off round and it looks like it could go round the corner and then up a slight embankment towards Snoopdown Farm. Uh, so that's my idea of why I've planted the, the Victoria on the corner. And then we've got the Woolworths and then we've got the, the shops after that. And uh, if I come down to real height, as it were, once the blue sky is painted, it, they look pretty good. I know it's not a full um, backboard which runs right, right away up along to the northeastern pub there at the back. And the reason behind that is where I have to duck under the baseboard to get to the control panels and everything over there. Uh, I know we're not going to see all the detail that I have put in to these bills, but the idea is to create an illusion that Jarrah Road is a little bit bigger than what it is. It's almost a, a mini town on its own. Uh, that's my reasoning behind this. Right, so here we are, we're back at the bench, and um, uh, <laughs> this board is a bit too big to get it all in the camera. I mean, if I could zoom out a little bit, but uh, that's that's about all you're going to see, I'm afraid. But um, you might get the gist of, of what I'm trying to do here. So, first things first, um, before I paint the hard board, it's got quite um, a smooth surface to it. So we want to rough it up a little bit uh, in order to make sure that the acrylic paints that I'm going to use actually adhere to the hardboard and we don't have issues later on with it flaking or cracking or anything like that because uh, once it's done it's done <laughs> as it were. So that's what we're going to do now. As you can see I've marked some pencil lines here that's where the cinema is sitting. So I'll just show you that little area for now. And then as, as we move on, we can um, show you other areas 
uh, as we go because um, there's not a lot of detail to add to this but there may be some bits that may be of interest so I'm just mixing up some paint now um, just a little bit of blue and lots of white because I don't want uh, the, cloud, uh, the sky to be too dark um, so we shall mix this up and see what we, we get yeah quite like the look of that it kind of matches everything else uh, regarding paint might have to add a little tiny bit of water but uh, yeah I'm happy with that right so that's the baseline done for the sky so now a little bit more white and a tiny tiny smidgen of black for the uh, clouds because that's what we're going to do now we're going to make some clouds as you can see a little tiny tiny bit of black uh, if it goes too grey then I'll add a little bit more white but we'll just mix it up and see what happens yeah it's a little bit too grey I'll, I'll add a little bit more white to it so let's just see what happens here so what I'll do is I'll use the grey as a as a starter as it were starter to the clouds so it looks like there's going to be a little bit of rain involved here before it dries I think I'll add a bit more white right so that's enough of that what I'll do now is I'll add some more white and uh, it'll be pure white this time I'm not even gonna mix it in with the, the grey that's already there this is pure white now That's the clouds now finished. Um, quite like the look of the way that they've turned out with little bits of grey and white. Um, and uh, they've come out really well. Really pleased with the way that they've come out. So, where I've got these uh, shops, you see some chimneys at the top there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create some smoke coming out of the chimneys. So just using a little bit of uh, grey and black just to I might have to lighten that it looks a bit too dark yeah I'll have to lighten that a little bit do the same there at least we know where the shops are going Yes, so the clouds are really setting off this back scene, really making it look mm, kind of realistic. And uh, with the smoke coming out the chimneys, that just seems to add that a little bit more of an effect. And uh, yeah, I'm beginning to enjoy this now it's all coming together. Right, so the next thing is to add the road. As you can see, I've got the curves there ready for the, the pavement so I have to paint this edge and put it onto this back uh, board as it is and sort of create the road to go either around that way or around that way so it looks like it's it's going in the distance and then maybe add some things to, to carry it away in the distance but uh, 
something we'll have to think about when I come to do that part. So there's still plenty to do. I've painted one road as you can see it sort of veers away to the left and at the other end I've painted one that goes to the right. Um, this is just a, a test road for the moment until I start putting in the uh, paving slabs. Um, yet again we're using the mid-calf um, paving slabs because I do prefer these for the um, realistic look. So this might take a while because I've got to do uh, all the way along this board yet. So what I'm doing, I'll put in the round curved radiuses here first on this corner, right on this edge and back over to that point and then we can start filling in the slabs all the way along um, this length of timber. The offcuts from the Medcalf sheets I'm using as backfills. Um, so what I'll do, I'll sit the pub, the Victoria, there and see where these slabs finish on the corner. I will put underneath the pub the offcuts from the slabs and that way I'll use less slabs and, uh, and we can put that back and, and that just comes just to the front of the building uh, let me just zoom you in you can see what I mean there rather than putting lots of individual slabs along that edge I've just used the the off cut from the the sheet and uh, what we'll do we'll just carry on with the paving as normal all the way along this edge also what I'm doing with these um, slabs as I'm putting some PVA wood glue on the back just to help them stick down. Although the adhesive is good on card that's on the back of these slabs, I just want to be want to make sure that it does stick down on this bare timber. And I've also Right, so that's the first section completed with the paving um, from this end all the way past the shops here. I don't know if I can get it in to the camera, but it's just here. So that's that section done. Um, so the next part is to do the cinema, which is going to go in this bare area here. I just move that forward so you can see it's just in this bare area, area here. So I'll continue with the paving and then we'll have an overview once that part is done. Just a quick look at where we are now with uh, both sets of paving finished and uh, with the cinema in place as well. Um, what I've done here, I've added the traffic light, the dummy one as you can see it's on a permanent red, uh, what I've done there I've just dabbed some red paint into there and, uh, and that's filled in the hole so um, yeah because outside Jarrah Road Station is the one that's working so um, we have to put in a little bit more path here and a wall um, which will, which the road then goes behind. So that's quite easy to um, well disguise if if you like. So we've got a little bit there to do. Um, I might add a bus stop in somewhere around about here somewhere, just outside the station parade, um, and some other little details. Now it's time to add um, a little bit of a deception to this area. As you can see uh, I've already painted the road in so I'm just adding the paving slabs now. So 
this may take a while you see I've just mixed up a little bit of grey there let me uh, a little bit of grey and I'll mix a little bit of darker grey so I can alternate the colour of the slabs as well and then I might just have to add some lines for the individual slabs so it's just to create an illusion that the pavement goes around with the road something like that and this is what it looks like now um, with the paving going around the corner I will do something similar with a building and maybe some trees so as you can see I've uh, added a couple of buildings to go around that corner um, just to fill in the space um, I've done a rough sketch so hopefully the paint when I add the paint that take care of the uh, the rough lines that I've created for the building just a couple of um, terraced houses I'm just using acrylic paints to do all this by the way um, it's quite easy to paint these because it's just squares so. so now it's time to add the roofs I'm just mixing up some grey here just for the roof and uh, seems to work out quite well and because I've already painted the, the brickwork I can come across the brickwork and start creating the straight lines of the roof as you can see there so that's the houses finished I'm quite happy with them um, we'll probably not uh, end up seeing them that much but um, you never know so what I'll do now is I'll just paint some trees in this area and maybe a fence and then that'll finish that off and uh, now this is what I love about painting and bringing uh, a little scene to life. Um, what I'm doing here, I'm just going to put some leaves onto those two trees you see there. Um, I'm using sap green and black, 50% um, and 50%, and I'm using lemon yellow with sap green and a touch of white for my second colour. So here we are, two brushes already uh, loaded up with the two colours um, that I'm going to use. So firstly I'm going to use uh, the sap green and black. This is going to be the background colour. So I'm just dabbing it on in a few places. So I'm just in between the branches and filling in the darker areas of the trees trying not to get any on the houses a little bit more around there trying not to get any on the cinema as well a little bit more on the upper heights See, I'm just using the edge of the brush just to tap it on in situ. Right, so that's the darker areas. Don't 
don't know if, if it's thick in places because now once we add the main leaves it will um, disappear as background so now we're using the lemon yellow with sap green and a touch of brilliant white and what we're doing now is just dabbing on same again It may take a couple of loads on the brush, but um, I've not mixed this in fully, so there'll be bits of yellow and bits of white coming through as well. You notice I'm taking the paint as high above the branch as, as possible. And as low as possible and right up against the cinema so that's about the height I would go so now I'm going to pick out a little bit of the yellow and then add that don't matter if you go too heavy with it because we're just spreading the paint around at the moment still not adding enough so now we're just covering up some of the branches now as you can see that dark that black and sap green is slowly fading into the background And I think that is almost there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. A few more dabs here and there. There we have it. A couple of trees. And this is what the other end of the vaccine looks like as you can see we've got the road there which goes up to Snook Down Farm and that is called Snook Lane to the left there there's a little wall now that wall should butt up against the wall that's um, on the layout but uh, we shall see when we join the vaccine to the layout and uh, we have a little conversation there lenders a fiver just for one more drink <laughs> right so to finish this off that's just a few little details some figures walking along the pavement probably 
and uh, that, that's it we'll be done it'll be interesting to see what this scene looks like on the back of Jarrah Road I have now attached the back scene to the back of Jarrah Road and uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with the result uh, I know the, the road looks a little bit narrow but if you put the vehicles side by side there's just enough room to pass each other um, alright the paths are a bit narrow but uh, on the whole I'm quite happy with the effect that I've got here so this is the view looking um, towards the northeastern pub right at the back there you can just see it uh, alongside the mill and uh, yeah it looks like a quite uh, a long road um, with with the buildings there and uh, yeah so I've added some figures as you can see there's a guy waiting at the bus stop and uh, there's some other figures at the other end which we'll go and have a look at at the minute but um, yeah I'm quite pleased with that because it's a backdrop for any trains running up and down Stevenson's Bank uh, without looking beyond uh, at the banister because I know and here we are at the other end of the road and if you look closely you can see the pub sign all the way down there the Victoria pub sign just about make it out right so at this end we have a small queue of people waiting to go into the cinema and uh, I just can't get the camera in there to, to see it but uh, there you are, I can just about make them out and um, yeah we probably won't see it that much unless we do um, cameo shots um, for video intros and things like that but yeah it's been fun building Jarrah Road um, and that putting that back scene on really finishes it off and uh, yeah right so let's have a look at the plan right from the very beginning when we first started this Jarrah Road um, project um, there it is the cunning plan Jarrah Road um, there's been a few changes along the way that there always is uh, with my projects always kind of change things we didn't do the cottages in the end we did a farm but we kept a small bridge we kept the pillbox um, we kept the signal box water tower water crane well the water crane was part of the water tower so we didn't have to build one for that so yeah so there was a few changes along the way and there it is the back scene with town shops and there's the artist's impression of the station and um, remember it was supposed to have been a single story building and we ended up raising it into the two story building that we have now and um, yeah so it's been a, it's been a good little build this um, yeah right so to finish this video off it's just up to me now to wish you all a Merry Christmas and um, I hope you all have a good one and we'll probably see you um, before the new year there might be a video pop up um, but we'll see right thanks for watching now stay safe everybody and look after yourselves bye for now bye <laughs>